As you all know, plants cannot move like we can. Once they start growing, they remain fixed in that very same spot throughout their lives. However, their seeds on the other hand are amazing travelers. Don't believe me? Well, certain seeds actually have the capacity to fly. Yes, they can actually be transported from one place to another by flying through the wind. For example, the dandelion seeds actually have adaptations that make it very light and they can actually fly using the winds or the air in order to move from one place to another. Look at this structure here. This is another seed, but it doesn't fly in order to move around. So how do you think this one travels? Yes, it, on the other hand, has Velcro-like adaptations which help it to stick on to the fur or the coat of different animals or even to clothes. Imagine you wearing socks and walking through a field you'll realize that many seeds would get stuck to your socks. And that is one way in which those seeds can actually stick on to different things or coats of animals and they can move from one place to another. So, with the help of cool adaptations and using the help of birds, animals, water or the air, seeds can move from one place to another. But the question arises, why do seeds need to travel so much? I mean, what would be the point of them moving from one place to another? Well, if seeds didn't travel, they would simply drop from the plant into the parent bed. And this means that they would grow right next to their parent plant, which means this would make them have to compete or struggle for enough sunlight, water and nutrients. So they would not be able to grow or survive to their fullest or properly. So in order to avoid all this competition, seeds are spread out or dispersed to different places where they can get enough room and grow using full sunlight, water and nutrients and they can have the space in order to grow properly. So what have we learned? We've learned that seeds can have many adaptations and they disperse using different methods. And we've looked at certain seed types and seen how they can actually travel from one place to another.